<laughs> Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video, guys. Today, we are playing They Are Here, an alien abduction horror game. Just, just so you guys are aware that it is in the demo version. Uh, the game has not officially came out yet. It's on Steam if you guys are looking to play the demo version. It's supposed to be coming out within next year. And I'm excited to try it out. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of TikTok and stuff like that. I haven't seen anything of the gameplay itself. Uh, so we're just going to jump right into it. No questions asked. Unexplained phenomenon occurred in, at Grayswood Farm. On the night of August 7th, the Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction and at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the f animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him, and bit him. The children complained that there something was walking under the under their windows. Farmer Pete Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Greywood's farm to take a photo and make a report on the at the, the local newspaper. Interesting. So I really do like the aspect. There had, it, as far as my knowledge, there has not been a alien abduction type horror game that has been out for quite some time if at all that i can think of i could be completely wrong but um we're gonna jump right into it itself this game looks fucking crazy Alrighty, so here we are um i really do like the aspect as it is right now it looks a little blurry but it's just because my recording side i don't want it to be very laggy and whatnot and why is that so loud oh there's the strange lights all right um take a photo I do like that. I do like that. Holy shit. All right, so there is the strange lights that we do see. I'm um, assuming we just go this way. Okay, I'm done pausing it. I thought there was motion, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, motion blur, or something like that. That was, could be very loud. Um, but. Hello? But yeah, there is, uh, definitely some fucked up shit that is happening here and it actually quite seems to be um really good so far um mr fox we have made an appointment but something bad happened our daughter went missing my wife went to the town to, for help my son and i checked out the farm we'll leave notes for you just in the police in case we pass each other be careful P peter sherman Alrighty. so it appears that something seems to be happening here Let's inspect the house. Um, I really love how they kind of just stick with the um, aspect of a middle of, middle of the for middle of the farm. Um, quite feel just like how actual paranormal type um, for aliens would be. That door's locked. Alrighty, cool. And this game, is, I, I actually cannot wait for this game to come out. To be quite honest, because it's it looks really good. Has a lot of buzz that's going around. Um, it's this photo. Is there anything on the back of it? No. And, um, I, I don't know anything much about it. I just l recently saw it not too long ago, and I thought, why not give it a, a shot? Because it's on Steam. It's, it's available for everybody to try out who has a Steam account. And, uh, you know, why not just give it a good old try? We're going to close the door behind us because, uh, well, I'm not trying to get jump scared. Can we use this radio? Apparently it belongs to the missing girl. If you if you listen closely, you can hear very strange sounds. Alrighty, that's quite freaky. Is there anything outside I can see? I don't see anything outside. Let's see. Farmer's note: This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed. And the windows were wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. By those things, you say, huh? So people don't believe in aliens? Uh, so that's going to be the question I'm going to ask you guys. Do you guys believe in extraterrestrial beings such as aliens? Um, I don't know. Personally for me, I don't believe that they exist. Maybe because it's hard to believe. And every time I see something that is of aliens, it's always projected and faked. So it's hard. To, it's, like this, it's like Bigfoot and everything like that. I, I find it hard to believe. Child's drawing. It looks like this drawing was made by the missing daughter of the farmer. The paper is printed on both sides. So there is... Okay. So it shows her with a dog that's barking at an alien. And the alien looks like it killed the dog. That is quite spooky. Is this a... 
photo. Okay, I'm assuming that's her daughter. In the photo, members of the Sherman family. Okay, this is members of the Sherman family. Okay, is there anything on the back? No. Alrighty, so there seems to be seems to have been a scuffle that has happened in that, that room specifically. What's in here? This looks so fucking spooky, Jesus Christ. Um Can I check what's on the here? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Looks like a big note. I've learned a lot of a, a lot about these things. They are called the Greys. They are not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can dis basically they can be described in the following way: a large head, disproportionate to the body, no hair, bottomless black eyes, gray skin, long, thin limbs. Their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all it all starts with bright lights in the sky near home, which one moves, which one along, which move what uh, what the fuck, which move along a certain way. Then people, then people start to have a nosebleed, have severe headaches, and a buzz in their ears, and animals start raging. Next, people start to have memory lapse. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in an unexpected place, for example, in the middle of the field or a road, a few kilometers away from home. Some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experiences. The aliens established control, out, control over their minds, and this has an effect their psyche. Also, they found the marks on the body, incisions to be exact. During, uh, I don't know how the word is, palpation. <laughs> it felt like something thick, like a foreign object moved under their skin. So like a pro, a prod in a way. It's so like a probe or a prod. Okay. So these are what they described to be the aliens here. Photo from the internet, perhaps Peter Sherman saw something similar. It looks creepy. That is actually creepy. Jesus Christ. Um, alrighty, so there's that. And this is like the famous photo of like if uh, they saw like the alien, but it, I don't believe that it is because it's prosthetic. I could believe it. That's scary. That is spooky. See, like every time I hear about aliens, I always just imagine them like from that like South Park episode where they like are like super tall and scrawny and are sort of comedic in a way. All right, so the farmer's ch child children's diary. Found my old diary when I was like 15 years old. How could I forget that? Today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly, I was deafened by a roar coming from behind me. I turned around very low above the ground. A huge disc with four flashing lights or windows was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if in zero gravity. Everything around me became bro blindingly bright and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes so they sort of explained what they were. I was placed on the table as I, as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to, seemed to me that they com communicated with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing and I was walking home as if in a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body and two small, very smooth holes between behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. Alrighty. Take a photo of the diary. There's a photo of the diary. diary. Sweet. Um, Alright. So... Oh my god! Holy shit. Hello? Oh my god, this is spooky. Hello? Oh my god. They already came through the house. It, 
It sounds like this UFO is literally outside the fucking house. Alright, we're closing this door. No, keep this flashlight on, dude. Okay. Is this supposed to be like a representation of how the game's supposed to be, or like what's happening? What the fuck? What is happening? Jesus god damn, what's with fucking TVs, dude? I absolutely fucking hate TVs now. Whenever I see a TV in a horror game, fuck it. It's just gonna jump scare the shit out of me. What's here? Photos of dead animals. All right. Okay. Wish I did not see any of that. No, I want to see this middle one. Okay. Dead livestock. All right. All right. All right, game. Oh, this is kind of fucking disturbing. Why is there just windows in a fucking bathroom? That's where you can see them. As a child, headaches began to bother me. They torture me to this day. I went to the doctor dozens of times, but no one could explain the reason for their occurrence. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer is simple. Abduction. I only remember the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then that the migraines began. The cuts that I have noticed then behind the ear were a trace of them. I'm sure they've implanted something in me some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of this, I forget everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you try to take out the transmitter? Oh, that's a definitely a transmitter. And then no, Peter Sherman claims that he had a cut, had a cut on an alien implant. Maybe take it? Maybe that's who they're after. Maybe they're after this guy. And Hello? What the f- That guy was fucking huge! Hello? Oh, there's a scarecrow, okay. Can I just leave, yeah? Can I- There's more lights. My car! Someone's still in my car! Uh... Uh... <laughs> Jesus! Sorry, I'm not trying to pause it. I didn't mean to pause it. Run! Run, 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 run away! Run away! Get back to the car! Why is there clothes on the ground? Just get to the car and drive away. Drive away, drive away. Did I just get abducted? Go, drive, 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 drive. Oh no, drive, dude. Oh, fuck. Oh my God. Just go! Get the car rolling, man! <laughs> oh, man. 
again, dude. All right, you guys gotta, you guys gotta give me a minute. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. In the full game, you'll find... <sighs> Fuck. In the full game, you'll find the large territory of Grey's Wood Farm and a full story of the alien abduction. Add the game to your wish list so you don't miss out. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. All right, well, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Guys, if you guys did, make sure to check the link below for this game if you are interested in it. Uh, it, like I said, it is the demo version of the game itself because it has yet to be out. Be sure to uh, put it to your wish list because like he said in the game, it'll be a discounted price on release if you guys are interested in getting it. Probably will be a steal. So I definitely will be getting it and I'll definitely be doing a uh, playthrough of the game when it first comes out. If you guys check in the description below as well, there's going to be a playlist for all the, uh, for the playable parts of this game when the game actually comes out. Uh, this is for you future people that uh, this is for the people in the future to click on uh to uh, this is just the starting point and then we're going to go on forth but anyways guys i hope you guys have a great day thank you guys so much for the constant support and i will see you guys in the next video peace out